to our YOLO International Fast Track to Sales Coordinator call, which is our, if you think about what the sales coordinator position is, it's really the foundational position with regards to the marketing plan. If you look at a DD and a VF position or SDVF, wherever you are, those are kind of steps to get to that first position of that foundational position of sales coordinator. So that's why this call, we know that when someone gets to SC, that they're, they're, they realize that this is an amazing opportunity um, to really just say yes to your life and to be able to build that strong foundation, not only for you, but for millions of people around the world, as you can. You can build in over 26 different countries right now, and the number is growing. But we love this call. This is kind of the bricks, if you would, to building the house. So we, we love bringing in different national marketing directors from around the world to talk about, um, you know, what it is, what, what helped them grow their business and help to create that duplication. Because this is an amazing profession. We're not just talking about the industry. We're talking about that you know, this is a profession. Um, and I am very blessed. I look at, you know, what this has allowed me to do. I, but I do want to share with some of you that are online. Don't be me. Um, this is my journal from 1990. I think it was before Shani was even born. Um, but this is my journal, and I was 20-something years old. And the reason that I'm sharing it with you guys is because it is from... December 19th, 1990. And that's when I showed up at a National Safety Associates conference, um, it was, which is now Juice Plus. And I went and I heard all this great information. I met amazing leaders and I saw the possibility. I saw it intellectually in my head, but I didn't really know what it could mean. So for, you know, I went, I was going to start a business. I was going to, you know, build business around the world. I was going to help others build their businesses. And I was, I was emotionally ready to go. Like many of you, I'm sure that... Saw this, you're like, wow, this just makes sense. But I didn't really, I never signed an application. So I didn't do the, I didn't do the do, if you would. And so I didn't sign an application and it wasn't until 17 years later that I actually said yes to the business. Um, if you're not muted, if you could please mute your line, that'd be amazing. Um, so it is my honor and privilege to meet an amazing, introduce you guys to an amazing person who really has done the do. Um, and she, I remember from the minute that Kate told me about Shani, she was like, Lauren, you're not going to believe this woman. She is, she's, she's all in. Um, she's got a heart of gold. She's all about abundance. And so Shani Caruso is 29 years old. She is a brand new 75 club member. So I need your address to send you something fun. Um, she started this business in November, 2015, two years ago. Prior to this business, she was a registered nurse for five years specializing in, um, is it anesthesiology? I don't, I'm not sure. She can't even say mm -hmm. a, a theater nursing, as, as you guys would say. And also has been a nutritional coach for three years. She never intended on building this business. In fact, she only joined because she loved the products and wanted to share them with her clients, which as we talk about, there are three basically entries that people can join this opportunity. One, they can go on the family plan where they're gonna be able to get paid on their own products and you know they might share with a couple people and then they might there might be the micro entrepreneur which is a person who wants to make an extra two to you know thousand dollars a month or there's that person that really goes for it so wherever you enter it's fine lots of times life conditions change and you know you might enter as just somebody who wants to get paid on your own product and share it with your clients and then it as shawnee as you'll see that it really has turned into this amazing um profession for her and helping others to do the same she joined this business, but the year later, she found herself surpassing her full-time nursing income, quitting her job, and loving the Juice Plus business. Um, she is an amazing woman. I am not only blessed to have her as part of our, um, our international team, you know, she's part of the, the overall, she works with um, Kate and Anthony Golay, is also part of, you know, um, Team Spirit, which is also part of Team YOLO International, which means you only live once. And she's doing it right. So we are honored to have her on this call. We were just together last week at the GoPro event. Um, she, I think she brought over 36 people from us. 36 people came with her uh, to the conference. So she made a commitment to be there. And, um, and she's living it. Like, so she's really doing the do. We talk about that events are foundational. So we're going to go ahead and, um, first of all, congratulations. I don't see you, so I'm going to go ahead and make you the main 
the main thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys, for having me on. I'm so excited to chat with you all today. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you on. I mean, you are just one of the sweetest people. And I love, first of all, I want to acknowledge you for the amazing job that you did um, at the conference in Australia and sharing about social media. It was just so real and raw and just, you can tell you really live this. So, you know, for you, Shawnee, you know, for you to become a 75 club member in two years, that really helping, um, you really are up about community. So helping 75 people really create communities. You know, what are your non-negotiables that you believe make a, a NMD 75 club in two years? Um, I have, I have a lot of non-negotiables and I think over time I've definitely increased my boundaries and, and what I'm, I'm certain in. I think the most important thing is you have to work on yourself. I mean, this isn't, um, this isn't, well, for me, it's not just a hobby. It's not for fun. For me, like I came in, I came in to this business just for fun. And then I really quickly realized that I had an amazing opportunity at my hands. And so I had to treat it you know, like a business, I had to treat it properly. So I invested a lot of time and money in myself in terms of, you know, personal development and um, growing myself and also building my belief, building my belief in the product and building my belief in this industry um, and as well in the company. Um, and I think when you look at it in that perspective, the, the after effects of all of that just comes. So I knew for me, like when I first started, I loved the product. I loved it. I, I had amazing results. Um, I was on it for about eight months before I, I signed up as a franchisee. Um, and so my belief in the product was already amazing, um, but I knew I had to go to town on that. I had to go and read up a little bit more and I had to go, had, I, I wanted to go to the American conference. So I went to, um, where was it? Was it Anaheim? No. Um, St. Louis. I went to St. Louis. That's right. I went to the St. Louis one as well. I just, I wanted to be immersed in, in everything that I could so that I could learn more about it. So working on myself definitely is one of my non-negotiables. I think every day is a school day. I'm still learning. You know, I still learn today. I still learn every week something new, um, which I love. That's why I love this business so much. And um, just building my belief constantly as well. But as well as that, um, I mean, when, this is an SC call, right? So I think about when I was trying to hit SC when I was a VF. Um, and that's when it really hit me that this business only grows when it duplicates, when you're teaching really well. So um, I had to put my teacher hat on. I had to put my mentor hat on. And I thought, right, I, I've learned how to do this. I've gotten to VF. So how do I teach other people how to do that? And for me, like my brain, the way it works, like I like to be organized. I'm a little bit OCD. So I thought, how can I create a system or how, what, what can I do for my team so that I can teach them exactly what I've done so that I can teach them and they teach them and they teach them and so on. It duplicates because um, there was a moment there where there was no duplication in my business. I was doing amazing. I was doing really well. And um, the people I was personally teaching were doing well because I was mentoring them one-on-one. -on -one, but this quickly becomes like a massive organization. You've got people, you know, in your downline and you don't necessarily speak with them every day. So that was when it hit me, right? I need to, I need to duplicate my knowledge and how can I do that? And what, and of course, I'm sure there are people that are, I love what you just said, you know, that your business doesn't, it doesn't grow until you really are duplicating. So what would you say some of those activities are to create that duplication? Because I know there's a lot of amazing people on the line. I'm looking at all the different people that are on the line. People have been in the business, you know, for five, six, seven years or at that SC position and, you know, getting, getting customers, getting distributors, but are definitely not duplicating the way that they want to. They're doing that personal development part of it. They're attending the conferences. They're doing events. They're doing, they, they're doing the do. Um, but what do you think is the thing that got you to get people to really start to duplicate? I mean, cause I'll be honest with, you know, I mean, for me, that was the, the big thing, you know, when I said to, when I looked at Jeff and Cheryl and I was like, you know, tell me what I need to do, what are the basics that I need to do? And that's when I had the most duplication, you know, when I was keeping it really simple. But for you, what would you say um, has caused that amazing duplication for yourself and others? Well, first of all, I think recruiting is one of the highest paying activities that you'll do in this business. Um, 
I never used to think that until recently, actually. And I realized when you can recruit really well, when you can, whether you're reaching out to people um, and not in like a crazy stalk away, I'm more like in, in a caring way. So like I thought of you because, so I don't know if, I don't know if this will be for you, but I thought of you because, and I don't know, this might sound crazy, but you're intelligent, you're smart, you're, you love helping people. I just can't see why you wouldn't be amazing at this. So that's my approach to people when I recruit. Um, and I like to pick people who have my work ethic. I like to look at people and I want to make sure they know how to work hard and I want to make sure that they have a caring heart because that's, that's my avatar, so to speak. So I recruit if I can recruit really well, then I need to teach my team how to do the same. But the thing is you can recruit like crazy. You can bring on like 30 team and then none of them do anything. And then that's where the problem is. That's where it's like, well, why aren't my team duplicating? Why, why can't they even reach DD? Why can't they even reach VF? And so that, and that was happening to me. I was getting all these amazing frontline and then everyone was just sitting there <laughs> doing nothing. So that's when I changed my tactic, I guess. I was sort of like, okay, we're going to start you up. I'm so excited for you to start. The first promotion is DD and I'd get them to learn about it. I'd get them to watch the videos. I'd get them to read everything about it. And I'd say DD is so simple. It's you and two other people on a premium or you, you on the shakes and the premium and then one other person. So who can you help? Who do you know who really needs to get healthy? Like who has inflammation, who suffers with headaches or um, skin problems? Or I would think of, you know, it's all types of inflammation. Who's always sick and needs to be healthier? Who has children who don't eat fruits and veggies? Who are two people that you can literally go up to and say, Hey, I don't know if you just saw what I've done. I've started a new online business. I'm so excited. I'm about to help heaps and heaps of people get happy and healthy. I'm actually just looking for two people to help. You're my first customer and I'd love to, I'd love to show you what I'm doing. And when you can go with that approach, that's DD, like straight up. Like in Australia, we only get 10 days to get people to DD and people are hitting it because it's like, right, two people in 10 days, like that's, you know, it's simple. And then it's the next step, BF. Well, what if you could teach three people how to hit DD just like you did? You know, that was really simple. Like usually it's mom, dad, sister, brother, girlfriend, neighbor, best friend, like whoever, you know, you've got your two people to DD. Then it's all about like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I just started this new online business. I'm, I can't wait to show you. I think you'd be amazing at it. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're caring. You need extra money. Like you should totally take a look at this. And it's like, boom, you've got three team and now you're teaching them how to hit DD and and, and I know I'm saying this like, oh, and then it's this and it's easy and it's the next step's this, but that's literally my mentality. So when I have people join, I'm like, man, we've got to get you to DD. Like, no ifs or buts, we're doing it in less than 10 days. And then we've got to teach three other people how to do that as well. And it's just duplicating that. So what's great is that you talked about, it's really leverage too, that you've got 10 days to do it, right? You set the standard that... Um, so when you say to people, we've got 10 days to do this, or do you say, you know, you can do this in 10 days? How do you frame that for people? with regards to the 10 days? Because that is well, good I think that, you know, yes. Yeah, I like, I like that about um, the Aussie comp plan, but you guys are so lucky in the States and Canada, like you've got 30 days to get there. But when, when someone joins my team, I make sure that they're all over the first couple of bonuses. So that, that DD bonus and that VF bonus, and I tell them how much time they have. Yeah. And I, I don't ever put any pressure on anyone. I'm always like, you know what? Like in Australia, you've got 10 days and you get to tap into a $100 bonus. But if you don't get there in 10 days and you're not fussed about the bonus, you've actually got 30 days to get there. And usually people are like, I can get there in 10 days. Like, so you're two people, right? And so I let them know. And then about the whole VF bonus, I'm like, well, you know, you've got X amount of days to get to VF and you get this bonus, like, it, is that something you're interested in? I sort of put my stake in the ground and I get their approval. And then it's like, yep, I'm in, like, let's do this. And um, I, I never put any pressure on anyone because I love just meeting people where they're at. Some people like to do this, you know, the slow way and that's totally fine. And others are like gangbusters and want to smash it from the beginning and that's fine as well. I'm, I'm all in either way. So, so with regards to that, you've also built an amazing international team. So, I mean, you've got, you know, this morning there were six people of yours on the line and hungry like you. Um, it sounds like that the work ethic part is a big part of it for you with regards to that. Um, 
you know, what would you say your highest pain activity is for you personally? Um, for me, my highest, my highest paying activity. Even though I just asked you that, I'm just, <laughs> okay. So would you say it's, so for you, is it recruiting? Is it training? Is it getting those people to, like, if you were to say, you know, I think a lot of people, like you said, the people can get stuck in seminar soup too, right? They do so mm -hmm. much time working. I'm, I, what I've seen in, in personal development is that people, there's kind of a false sense that people are growing um, sometimes when they're doing a lot of personal development. So I, I know that you have a good balance of personal development, act, pain activities. Um, mm -hmm. but you, I mean, what would you say for you when you know that you're really about to, you know, kill it with regards to things, what would you say those things are for you? You know, for you, I, yeah. That okay, you so not I do, think you wouldn't it not do, right? Yeah, yeah. The, it's easy to get distracted, I think. It's so easy, especially now with social media. You know, most of us are growing our businesses online. It's easy to jump on Facebook and all of a sudden you've spent three hours scrolling, you know, on Facebook watching cat videos and, and whatnot. But for me, like when, when I'm in the zone, like, and I've got this written up on my desk, my highest paying activities are growing my network. So that's, you know, connecting with people, meeting people, adding them as a friend on Facebook, getting to know them and actually building a relationship and, um, and just expanding my reach. Um, my second highest paying activity is then following up. So I, I don't have it next to me, but I have a, like a 30 day grid and my 30 day grid, everyone that I speak to or everyone that I want on my team or everyone that I know that this product would be amazing for, I write on this 30 day grid and I've literally got every 30 day grid since November, 2015. Wow. So I've got every single grid from every month and I just follow up like, and I'm on rotation just like, you know, yesterday I was doing January from this year and what I'm just doing is like going through all the names on that list and and just checking in just saying hey like I'm, I'm not pressuring or anything I'm just literally building a relationship because I just want them to to think of me I want to be front of mind for people when they think like finally this opportunity is for them or finally they're ready to try the product so um, I'm following up constantly like 25% of my day is following up and sometimes, you know, like I've got a girlfriend who's just joined the business. Um, it took me two years of following up with her for her to join the business. So that was just me planting a seed with her for two years and um, it takes time. So that's, that's one of them. Um, I'm I always love, invited. I love, I love, there's something that very interesting that you said that you, you might not even notice now because it's, it's only been two years and you're 75 quit. But imagine the power of, you know, five years from now when she shows her grids from the very beginning. And mm. so imagine the power, I mean, even just right now, I mean, now, I mean, what a great story for people to see that she's doing the do, right? So, I mean, even for me, I'm like, wow, maybe I should just start keeping my grids, right? But anybody that's starting now, start keeping your grids and say, hey, you know what, I'm doing the do, Here, here's where it's at. And everybody wants to do that, but it's a beautiful story. You know, five, imagine 10 years from now, right? I keep showing my journal from back then of what I didn't do, right? But what, what else would you, I'm sorry, I interrupted you, but um, so you say 25% on follow-up um, every day that you do in the grid. Yeah. yeah. What else? Yeah, yeah. A big, a big chunk of it is following up. Um, and I think I, I used to get in that, oh, they're ignoring me or they don't, they're not interested or I feel really silly because they've said no, but I've just learned following up is such a such a high paying activity even if you just pop in to say hey so like i jump on facebook every day and i say happy birthday to everyone that pops up in my right hand corner and not because well i want to say happy birthday to them because everyone loves a happy birthday message but more so so that i can start up a conversation again or or maybe one day they'll be like oh my goodness that shani girl said happy birthday to me i remember her i'm pretty sure I can get juice plus from her. You know what I mean? So following up is huge, really high paying activity. Yeah, and, um, you, and you actually really care. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, when people, when you wish somebody a happy birthday, I mean, how often do people really wish anybody a happy birthday anymore that you take the time to do that. And so that, you know, you really do have, and then they go to your page and go, hmm, I wonder what that shiny girl's been up to. Right. And they just see that you're living the life that, you know, they, they, they do a little Facebook stalking, which is good. Right. <laughs> and then they realize that, well, she's really walking her talk. So beautiful. So follow up. What else? Grid. Yep. Um, and inviting people along to things and just being really confident with inviting. So, you know, we've got an awesome business event tonight that I think you'd absolutely love. Or, you know, sometimes my approach is I'd love your input 
or your opinion on my business. Like I'd love for you to check it out and give me your opinion. And more often than not, people are like, that was amazing. Like what was that? I want to be a part of it. So just um, having different strategies with inviting every time we have an event, I'm like, I know I want five guests on this event. Um, so for you, or, a question about that. So for you to convince 36 plus people to come to GoPro here, because I know you're, I think, I think probably the reason I am most just in awe of you as well and that I love is that you, you promote events and for you there's no, there's, you know, all excuses are equal for you with regards to that. So could you talk about that with regards to promotions for events and why that's so important for you and, and how you did get so many people here and how you'll have probably 100 people here in Phoenix, I'm sure, right? Or more. So I'm um, planning an event just for you, right? So when... <laughs> I, um, I just always, I think that when you can leverage off an event, um, I mean, it's huge. The, the work that GoPro did for me for those 35 people, uh, is invaluable. Like I, I couldn't put a price on that. And I, I see the value in events. I see what it does, um, for people, you know, maybe they've heard something from me a hundred times, but it's like, another speaker to get up on stage and say the same thing. And they're like, Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Um, so I inviting 35 people to GoPro was, um, it was a big job. You know, everyone was, from, well, most people were from Australia. They were a handful from the States and it was hard for everyone, but, um, we just sort of, you know, like, what do you want for your business? Is this something that you want to treat seriously or, or is it just for fun? And if you want to treat this seriously, you've got to be there. And if you think about when you buy a franchise, like as in like a, a traditional business, whether it's a, I don't know what you guys have over there. I'm going to, I can, all I can think about is McDonald's. But think about when you buy like a, a McDonald's franchise, it's millions of dollars to start uh, that up, right? And you invest everything you have, your time, your money to make your business work. So why, why can't this be the same? Like you invested $50 in this business to get it off the ground running. Why not spend, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, a couple of thousand dollars to get yourself to an event where you'll grow, you'll learn, you'll build belief, you'll get immersed in the culture, you'll get excited. And, you know, to me, it just makes sense. Um, so there's so, yeah. no fear. So there's no fear for you. I think for a lot of people, um, you know, you focus more on the value that they're going to get from that, the community they're going to get from, the expanded from that. Um, so for you, like right now, so we've got um, conferences coming up in, there's a couple of people that Susanna, line. if I can mute a couple of people. Let me just mute double up on your juice plus. You should double up on your juice plus. Um, so for you, let's talk about just, you know, Phoenix conference, because I know you're already promoting for Phoenix. What are you saying to your team here to get them ready for Phoenix in order to your team in Australia or anywhere else in the world that you have team? What are you saying to people already for Phoenix? Well, everybody always needs um, to build their belief in some aspect of this business, whether it's themselves, the industry, the product. Um, and we all, everyone wants to be a 10 out of 10 in belief. And so I say, uh, my approach is if you want to build that belief, you've got to come to conference. Like you've got to come and learn and you've got to come and fall in love with um, what we're doing and be proud of the company that we're a part of. Cause I'm, I'm so proud to be a part of this, um, this company juice plus, but you know, that took time for me to be super proud because I went to conference. I had to go and see it all. And I, people, people really do understand that if there's no belief there, this business doesn't move. If you're lacking in belief in yourself, you've got to do the work. What can you do to build that belief in yourself and up your confidence? If you need belief in the industry, like go and do the work, go and watch like one of my favorites, Rise of the Entrepreneur. I love that when you do your cameo, Lauren, like I, I always send my team that documentary. It's free on YouTube and it's such an amazing resource to use to up that belief in the industry. And, you know, with the product as well, like go, go to um, San Diego and go and check out like where the product is and what they're doing there to build that belief. Like what can you do? So um, I love that because what you, uh, what you said about all of these things is leveraging your time. So GoPro um, for you, it was, you know, letting the other people in the, in the profession do that talking for you. So you didn't have to do some convincing. And when they come to boot camps, when you come to conference, 
all of those things are building belief in the company. So you don't have to convince again. You're just living, you're like, see, look at all these great people <laughs> as well, right? When you go to the plant, you gave me goosebumps because when you go to the plant in San Diego, same thing, you go there and you're like, wow, you know, it really is 100% bioavailable. And you look and you see that, you know, it's actually being dissolved while other companies' products aren't being dissolved, right? I've got one sitting here on my desk that somebody sent me. I'm like, nice. I sent this to my friend at the plant and it's not 100% absorbed so so like you said these are, things are non-negotiable for you um the other thing that's exciting is that we've got um gopro is going to be happening in australia and it's going to be happening in australia in july i think july of next year so um, for those people that are on this call i'm buying um some some of uh, the uh, conference tickets and we're going to be using them as incentives for those of you that are over there in Australia so I will be um, putting together some promotions for you let me ask you a question what um, if you were a new distributor today and you were talking to your new distributor self what um, event would you go what event would you say I mean what would you say to yourself your new distributor self how would you what would, advice would you give your new distributor self if you were starting fresh today and all of us should be starting as a new distributor. I don't know about you, but every day I kind of wake up as a new distributor, right? Mm -hmm. And um, what do you, and go to, and go, I love this. I don't know who I learned this from, but I love this quote. It's like you wake up as a new distributor and you go to bed as an NMD, right? Oh, I love that. <laughs> what, what, would you, what would you say to your, your new distributor self? Um, just dissolve the fear. I think, sorry, I'm just moving out of the sun. <laughs> the sun is crazy. Um, I think dissolve the fear. Like we're so afraid of rejection. We're so afraid of what others will think of us or, or what we'll look like or if we'll fail. And I, I wish that I was able to dissolve that fear in the early stages. And I know we all have it. And, you know, I still have fear some days myself. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you need to have a really strong mission and vision and purpose and you've got to write it down. You know, like I have my mission statement. I, I scream it out on, on the top of my lungs every day and I say it to myself in the mirror because I'm so clear with my mission, my vision and my purpose and no one's going to stop me from that. No, no one is going to get in my way. No one is slowing me down, but I had to exercise that muscle. So if I could turn back time and get myself to be really clear with my intentions, with my business, with my, my mission, my vision, everything that I want to achieve in life, and then just break past the fear, um, that would be my biggest, my biggest advice. And, and how do you break through that fear? Don't let anything stop you and be so clear with yourself with what you want to achieve for your life, for your family, what you want for your future. You know, even like, Every month when I start my new grid, at the top of my grid, I put my paycheck that I'm going to achieve. I'm going to, um, I write down the customers that I want to achieve and the team that I'm going to recruit. And I'm so clear with that and I don't let anything stop me. And yes, there'll be critics. There'll be people who have something to say. There'll be people with opinions. There'll be people who say no to you. There'll be people who'll be nasty. But that's the nature of business. It's not just, you know. It's not just network marketing. It's not just Juice Plus. That's any type of business. And when people see you flourish and they see your life change, you're going to get those type of people that, that, um, that have criticism. So, yeah, just break through that because it's going to happen. And the more successful you are, the more people are going to have something to say. The more people will, you know, leave your sphere of influence. Um, and you get and, a whole new sphere of influence of great people that really are cheering you on, right? You find a whole exactly. new... You know, it, it was years ago, Bob Proctor, Bob, Bob Proctor, I'll use this two things as an example because it's, an, you know, it's important to what you just shared. Years ago when I wrote my first book, I said, Bob, I don't get it. Why aren't people excited for me? You know, I'd be so excited if like a friend of mine like wrote a book and did that. I'd be so excited for them, especially 22 years ago. And he said, Lauren, it's not that they're not excited for you. They're afraid that you're going to leave them behind. So lots of times when people are doing that, they, they know that you're going to meet some people you know, it are going to, you know, you might find some new friends, you know, and people that really are there to support you. Um, the other thing is, you know, Cheryl Cortez, our upline NMD, those of you that don't know, it's Jeff Roberti, who 95% of Juice Plus is in his organization. We are, um, we are, you guys are all right there in his pay line. So Jeff Roberti um, sponsored Cheryl Cortez, and then Jeff gave me to Cheryl because he knew I needed a female role model. And Cheryl says, you just imagine there's a long line of people all the way to infinity. 
They say, thanks very much. Move on out of the way. You know, not interested. Move on out of the way. Move on out of the way. So what you're saying is you're looking for those people who really, you know, that they have a great work ethic. They got big hearts. They really, you know, they're, they're willing to be coached. Um, and that they have that big vision for themselves. They can see what this means, 510. So let me ask you a question that's not on our questions list. Where are you? Where are you five years from now? What's happened five years from now? Oh, my gosh, so much. So, um, well, Matt and my partner and I are about to get married um, in a couple of weeks, or well, not a couple of weeks, maybe like nine weeks from now. So I'm so excited. So we, we're planning a massive trip around the world um, for our honeymoon. So... We'll be back from that big trip. I think it's going to take us about a year and a half, but we'll be back. Hopefully I'll have a family. But most importantly, I really, I'm so excited to just blow this business up, you know, tenfold to what it is now. I'm really excited to help people, especially Gen Y, just be really comfortable with this, with this industry and this type of business because I, I know that there's still a stigma. There's still people that have something to say about it. And I'm so proud to be a part of this. Like, I'm kind of like, if you're not a part of this, like, are you crazy? Like, do you not understand what this is? Like anyone can do this business. You, you don't have to have a qualification. You don't have to be, you don't even have to be like bloody smart. You just have to just do the work and work your butt off. Right. So I'm just really passionate about helping people break through that stigma and helping them understand what this opportunity actually is for them. And I feel like this world is really quickly changing. Like we're going, we're going all online. Everything's changing. Like what, you know, stores are closing down. Everything's online now. So this, this really is, um, I feel like the way of the future. I'm sorry, my friend's just going, my alarm. <laughs> um, the distributor that you've been following up with. <laughs> it's my alarm clock. I don't know why it's going off. Um, and where else do I see myself? I'm writing a book at the moment. Um, so hopefully in five years time, it's published and ready to rock, but that's where I see myself. <laughs> awesome. So you are amazing. We are very, very blessed. I need your address. So please message me your address. Um, does anybody have any questions for Shani? And we've got an amazing group on the line. We'll be posting this in our YOLO group and Shani, I just really appreciate your, um, your generous spirit. I mean, your generosity is just um, you know, I mean, we'll make you even more successful, but I just, I, ever since I met you, I just, I've really been inspired by you and I'm really looking forward to, um, just, you know, how many people that you'll help around the world. But, um, anybody have any questions? I'm excited to get to work with some of your girls here in the U S too. I'm super, oh, yeah. excited and all those yeah. guys. super, super awesome women. Um, I think some of them are on the line. <laughs> anybody want to ask a question and then we're going to give away a prize. Anybody want to ask a question? I love to give just, away. I just want to say thank. Sorry, it's Tasha. Just want to say thank you, Chani, so much. You have helped me so much ever since I met you in Vegas a week ago, uh, ten <laughs> days ago, um, and you've just helped me clarify things and you know really helped me set my intentions straight and stuff, which I'm really, really, really grateful for. I just, yeah, I just, I want to say thank you so much for that, and thanks just for being so honest and open. Um, with welcome. us and just really like leading by example I feel like we can all take so much from this I was messaging my team going come on DD is simple like let's do this so I just want to say thank you so much so yeah thank you oh, good. my pleasure and like you know everyone here on the line you all have the ability to build the business of your dreams it's just if I can give just one one little thing it, it takes work like it really takes work like I I became so obsessed with this business. Like my poor partner, it was so funny. Like sometimes we'd wake up in bed and I'd be staring at the ceiling. I'd be like, what are you talking about? And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm just thinking about this spreadsheet that I can make so I can keep on top of my team and, and how I can teach them. Like I'm just so obsessed. I'm thinking about it when I wake up. I'm thinking about it when I'm going to sleep. I'm talking to someone and I'm thinking, oh my God, you'd be amazing on my team. Like I'm always thinking about this business, but I was definitely like getting to SC, getting to SC and even SSC and Q. I was working around the clock. Like I had a full-time job and there were no excuses for me. I'd come home and my partner and I, we made an agreement. Like he'd lo he loves cooking dinner. I hate cooking dinner. So I was like, awesome. You can have dinner duties. And he'd cook dinner for me. I'd work all through the night. And sometimes I'd stay up till one, two in the morning, just working on my business. And just like, I put the work in. I did, I definitely didn't just like 
and you, still put, and, and you still put the work in, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think a lot of people, you know, which is really important as well. You know, that's why I said yes to the business was I saw Jeff was still putting the work in, right? He worked hard. I mean, and you need to give yourself a hard push, like, especially from the beginning. But I mean, think about anything that you've been obsessed with, right? Like anybody think of anything, whether it's a workout, whether it's a relationship, I mean, you got to put the work in, right? And then, but it's so rewarding because you're like, yes, you know, I did the work. You know, you, you, you can't get the results without doing, without really doing the work. So um, love it. A anybody, another final question? And then we're going to give away a prize. Anybody? Question, comment? So most of these people, a lot of these people are new distributors on the line, as well as people that are at VF and SC and really ready to break through to that SSC. Any final question, any final um, advice for those people that are at SC um, and breaking through to that SSC position? That seems to be where we have a lot of people on right now from. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like really when you look at this business in perspective, the, the secret to getting to NMD and Q and SSC is just being able to teach a lot of people how to get to VF. I like how Linda calls it a VF factory, you know, make, make it a factory, like just pop VFs all the time and not just in your front line, but like deep in your organization, reach down and help people who aren't getting the support, like, and look for them. Like, you know, I always go on my VO and I'm, I look for the numbers. I'm like, who needs help? So if you can just help people get to VF, if you can help hundreds and hundreds of people get to VF, that's the secret to N and D really, because to get to SC, you need a couple of VFs to get to SSC. You need a couple of VFs and you need an SC to help other VFs get there. Right. So it's just a continue. It's just a VF factory. So just become really amazing practice on people practice. How can I be an amazing mentor and get these people to VF? Like what, what are the points? What are the bonuses? What are some incentives? How can I get everyone in my organization to VF? And I promise you the SC, the SSCs, the Q, the NMDs, they'll pop organically because that's all this is. This is just teaching people to get to BF. And keeping them qualified, right? So the more yeah. people that they can duplicate down and keep them qualified, you know, then get them to VF and keep them qualified and then it naturally builds to SC. Mm -hmm. So let's give away a present. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop and all. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Tell me when to stop. Shani, tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, oh, I lost that person. Do it again. <laughs> stop. <Didn't>. Stop. <laughs> stop. Um, S I O B H A N. Who's that? Saibon. She is. I can see her. She's so happy. She is. Okay. Awesome. You have won. Yes. Where's who? Who is it? Where is she? Okay. Over here. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Long Island, New York. Awesome. You just won yourself some I am cards, mm -hmm. the affirmation cards that I did. So oh, hey. <laughs> let's keep one for everybody while we're here. So just tell us, this is everybody's card for the week. So let's do it. So you want to pick a card. Oh, yeah. There, right there. You got it. Yeah. You are bold. We are all bold. We're going to go out there. We're going to get new people. We're going to share this amazing Thanks. opportunity with people. So please get send Tasha your email address and, and um, Shani, please send me your address as well. So thank you for doing this um, event for everybody. It's a powerful um, event that we like to do every week and um, looking forward to all of those people that are going to be lives have changed because of you and your decision to this. So thanks everybody. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me guys. Thank you. Thank you.